My name is uh, Kerry Phillips, I'm Professor of Health Economics and I head up Swansea Centre for Health Economics within the University. Um, we are a group of 14 academics who deal with the economics of the healthcare system and we're involved in quite a number of different projects which relate to the management of health um, both in the UK and the and wider field. The demands which are put on the healthcare systems are increasing. The resources, the, the number of professionals and the amount of money that's available to actually meet those demands is uh, in some cases decreasing. Uh, at best it's uh, static. So health economics is about looking at the way in which we can actually maximise the benefit from the resources that we put into health, how best to organise healthcare systems. So it's, it's not a, an easy discipline, but it's very interesting and one which can make a big difference to the way in which uh, society views the healthcare system. And uh, we're engaged with governments to try and help them in moving the agenda forward. We, we do a number of projects um, across a wide range of health and social care conditions and issues and problems. One of the ones we've which is done a lot of work in is the economics associated with pain and pain management. We've developed um, a framework whereby pain management is now uh, being assessed by Welsh Government so that they've got set targets for, so that patients can be managed more appropriately. So it, it's making a difference at a patient level, it's making a difference at a level of society. And there's ongoing work uh, where we speak to clinicians, we speak to professionals to make them aware of the sort of work that we're doing and the benefits associated with improving pain and pain management. We as a centre have been in existence for just over 12 months. Um, so it's, it's relatively new. We, we acquired um, a consultancy in health economics which is based in Cardiff so we've now got an office in Cardiff as well but we've also got alliances um, and relationships with units in Canada which we're hoping to develop over time we've got working relationships with colleagues then in, in America uh, in Germany and we're developing links with people in Spain and hoping to perhaps through some European funding develop those alliances uh, as we move forward in terms of the future of the unit, obviously we want to expand. We're seeking to do more public sector work. We, we're getting an increasingly involved in large-scale funding applications, which uh, give us quite a lot of good income, um, which is necessary uh, as we move forward. But we're also continuing to liaise closely and work closely with the pharmaceutical industry um, and address their needs and also try and help them to actually see what their needs are. Rather than being reactive, we're trying to be proactive in developing the techniques of economic evaluation, what they need to be measuring, what they need to be costing, so as to enable them to develop good portfolios of evidence that they can use in, in promoting their prod, um, products in relation to the health service in the UK and wider afield. We also work closely with pharmaceutical companies um, and not only uh, do we react to what they think their needs are, we seek to work with them to try and help them to, to identify ways of costing uh, therapies, costing interventions and then looking at, at ways of actually measuring the benefits which those new products can bring to patients, bring to the health service and so on. So in terms of the future, I think it's exciting. Um, we've got a lot of younger researchers working with us and so my, my ambition is to, to bring them forward so that they can become leaders of health economic research in Wales and, and wider afield. <laughs>